slow. So the next four days I am going to be backpacking Spider Gap uh, Loop, Buck Creek Pass, and with hopefully some side trips to Image Lake, Miner's Ridge, and Flower Dome. So we'll see how it goes. game begins. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, nice, nice miles through spider meadows. So pretty. Like, it's a little magical out there. But the same descriptions for everything. But you look beautiful. Spikes. than I thought it was gonna be. Like, traverse there in the snow. It's the afternoon, so it's really slushy. Yeah, didn't, didn't like it, but I made it! down now. All right, finally off the snow, I think officially. I hope I didn't speak too soon. But, uh, not a bad view. here, camps to lower, backtrack to upper, but I'm gonna go push it today and go with me to try to camp at Cloudy Pass.
Good morning from day two. I uh, just left camp. Just camped down there. Getting a little attacked by mosquitoes already. Um, camp just below Cloudy Pass. Stayed in the camp spots. Went with the pit toilet as well. Um, but yeah, just making my way up to Cloudy Pass this morning and just <sighs> outstanding views. So uh, I'll do a little, little shot for you. And maybe put on my head net. You know, just, the mosquitoes are out. See in the video. Just there yesterday, and then you can see. Spider Gap. Just turn around the bend here. And you got views of Glacier Peak. Wow. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting some sneak peeks of a uh, glacier peak. It is awesome. Wow. All right. I think it's supposed to be even better at Image Lake. All right, I'm to Image Lake and Miners Ridge. Great views of Glacier Peak. I must be getting closer to Image Lake. So, we camp a quarter mile away from the lake, no fires, and just established set sites. So, down we go. So, I set up camp, probably the earliest I've ever set up camp, uh, like 11. Um, but now I'm just checking out Image Lake, and I'm gonna go do a little day hike, see Miner's Ridge, and just kind of like a more of like a relaxed backpacking day. But as you can see from the lake, there are some really great views of Glacier Peak. So, I'll, I'll take some video. On my way to the lookout tower. I get a little glimpse of it here. Getting really good views of Glacier Peak on my left, but then on the right, I also have this. All right, made it to the lookout. I'm gonna go up and check it out. I actually talked to the ranger on my way here. She was doing some more drill maintenance. Um, but she's yep, it's open. Feel free to go go in, hang out, have lunch. So that is my plan. Um, she did update me though. Um, sounds like two days ago, a small fire broke out um, near Liberty Cap, which is near Buck Creek uh, Pass, which is my plan for tomorrow. So kind of went over fire, fire growth, and um, kind of just level of risk willing to take to complete the loop. Um, so I kind of think that went over some more, talked with some other campers, um, or people near Image Lake that heard the update too. And so I think everyone's kind of reassessing what the, what the plan might be for tomorrow. views from the lookout tower. Signed with my name. Don't know if you can tell from this. I'm just going to zoom in, but that is the fire is you can see see the smoke okay so here's a better view of my my campsite here i don't know if you probably focused on glacier peak but 
Thanks for that. Made it my back to my, my cute little camp. Um, but now I'm just gonna do a trail that's just above the lake and I think it's gonna give me really great uh, views of the lake and Glacier Peak. So I'll show those off. All right, little views of the little side hike here. Uh, better views of Glacier Peak and Image Lake. When I spoke with the ranger, she said there's a chance of rain and thunderstorms tonight. And if you look at Glacier Peak, like that is a mood right there. Like look at the clouds on that. So we'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> back to the PCT. So I'm going to take the trail south. So I reached the lowdowns, another PCT hiker. Uh, I mentioned, um, he's like, is there any blowdowns ahead? And I'm not really on the trail that long. Uh, the trail doesn't really connect to the PC too, too long, so. Yeah. Climb up to Buck Creek Pass is no joke. Uh, it's, it's steep, but it was nice. This morning is so much cooler than yesterday. Um, Ranger showed me the forecast. It looks like 13 degrees. Well, um, cooler. It's still pretty cloudy. I wore my down coat and gloves a uh, good chunk of the morning. So um, it just makes for easier hiking temps and um, hopefully that kind of eases things with the fire too. Um, but yeah, just working my way up here and nice, nice views you can see. <laughs> To some trail runners um, that were coming down the opposite direction. So they'd gone through Buck Creek Pass and they said the fire was out. Um, so I feel a sense of relief. Um, hard to believe that fire would be completely out, um, but as long as they don't see a bunch of smoke or smoldering, um, which is great. My plan originally was to camp at Buck Creek Pass and then do a day hike to Flower Dome, but I think with all that activity, I was going to push on as planned. Um, yeah, so a little bit relieved um, and just keep on hiking and enjoy the views. All right, just past Flower Dome. I think I'm on Buck Creek Pass or on my way to the camp. Check out these views. Look who's hiding a little bit there. Glacier Peak. Just past Buck Creek Camp. As you can see, there's a little bit of smoke there. So. Maybe with a finer eye you can see it. Um, but yeah, I'd say that fire is not completely out, but definitely looks like a safe distance from where I am currently. Uh, definitely change by tomorrow or by tonight. So I'm gonna keep on moving. So after all that climbing, there's some significant elevation loss here. So now I'm just in this grassy bit. 